How's it going? This is Mike from m &R. Today we have a Silverado 3500 heavy duty. I'm going to show you guys how to remove the grill. Step one, pop the hood and we're going to be removing the top plastic cover. In order for the cover to be lifted up, you have to remove the, the hood latch. So I'm going to do that. Go ahead and do that first. It is a Torx key. Take out these two bolts and you'll be able to slide this out. That's two. After you take the bolts out, you can go ahead and slide this forward. And it goes ahead and removes it. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to remove all the push pins that are holding the, pla uh, the plastic cover. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In order to remove them, slide the screwdriver, pop them up, get a prying tool. And you should be able to just go ahead and take them out. Same thing with the other ones. Pry the corner. There's little notches that you can insert the screwdriver. Pop it open. Get the push pin up. Take them out. Guess I'm going to go ahead and not use the pry tool after all. These seem to be taken out fairly easy with a screwdriver. And the last one in the corner. Pop it up, pry it open. Now that we've taken out all the push pins, we should be able to just lift this up and get it out of the way. Next thing we want to do, we want to take out this trim pieces in order to get to the bolts that are holding the grill. So in order to pop these out, you have to be able to take off the flares. In order to pop the flares out of the way, there's two Torx bolts here that we're going to go ahead and take out. There's one. After we remove those two screws, we just pry this open. Just going to pull on it and pop it out. It's just held on clips. All right, there's one more screw that we're going to have to remove, which is here on the side. The ratchet that we use is 9 30 seconds. Okay, pull the bolt out and then we can start prying this out. So we usually grab it by the corner and start prying this up. Set this aside. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the exact same thing on the other side. Take out the two Torx bolts that are holding the splash guard. Pull onto the flare. Remove this head. If you guys accidentally get one of these clips out, just go ahead and slide it in place. And we're going to do exactly the same thing we did on the other side. And just pry the corners. Separate and just pull. Here you can see the only thing that's held on is one, two, three, four clips, and then the ones on top. So now you take off both of the trim pieces. Next, we're going to remove the top bolts that are holding the grill. One, two, The next step would be to remove the bottom, the bottom bolt here on each side. 
Uh, right now this is on the driver's side and that's going to re release the grill from the bottom. And we're going to do the same thing on the passenger side. step to get this done is to pry the plastic trim pieces off of the frame the subframe I usually just pry with my hands kind of lift it up and then you're gonna pull on the edges in order to separate the clips from these wings there we go got this side free got this side free and now you ready for this yeah I'm ready we're gonna go ahead and separate There's a lot of bugs on this thing. It goes cross country. And now this concludes a video of us removing the grill from the Silverado 2500 and 3500 heavy duty. Um, while we had the grill off, we went ahead and installed a couple of light bars inside the grill from M&R Automotive. Uh, come take a look. Give you a little sneak peek. We will have detailed installation instructions in a different video.